cooling cars on track is really, really important because uh, cars are engineered around re expelling a certain amount of BTUs based off of normal driving uh, or driving in traffic with the air conditioner on the summertime. They sometimes really fall short when you're on track and you're running a real living daylights out, out of your car, you're creating a lot of heat. And that heat has to go somewhere. And uh, off times that your radiator just isn't quite up to the task. Well, we have a solution. In fact, this is a solution. Every one of the cars I built get this triple pass radiator. A number of years ago, we got together with fluidine and got to peek over the top. Uh, by doing a, a radiator that was really superior to anything else that was out there and worked really well. And this is it. It's a triple pass, triple core. And you can see how thick it is. I mean, it, it's, it's three times thicker than, than most radiators. But the really unique factor is it's, it's called triple pass. Now, a regular radiator is a single pass. You got the hot air, or hot air, hot water coming in the passenger side high. And it goes through the radiator, comes out low on the driver's side. Well, if you look at look at that here to here to here, oh, gotta get ah, there we go. Ah, never mind. <laughs> From cutting across the radiator, uh, water is going to take the path of least resistance. So it's going to have a tendency to want to go like straight from corner to corner, not necessarily always getting into the corners and, and uh, exposing the, uh, the water to, to, to air. With the triple pass, what it does. Now, a long time ago in stock car racing, they started using what's called a double pass, which comes in one side, makes a U-turn, and comes out the other. Um, for, that's mostly for GM cars because they're just the way they're, they're set up. That works really well. For a, must, for a Mustang, you couldn't do a, a double pass because everything's on opposite corners. So we came up with a triple pass. So what triple pass means is it comes in on the passenger side high, goes across the radiator, makes a U-turn, comes back across the radiator, makes another U-turn, and goes back across the radiator again. So there's no, no dead spots where the, the uh, uh, coolant is not flowing really well, which means you get a lot more exposure, uh, air to water exchange, heat exchange. The other thing is we use a lot different type of fins. Uh, we use a, a, it's a smaller fin. Uh, there's more surface area. We actually have 18 percent more surface area uh, than a normal uh, radiator fin. So that's why they cool really, really well. Now that particular one is for a 550. And the nice thing about them is they're a total drop-in, total OE replacement, no modifications or anything. All the brackets and, and, and buttons are on there, just drop it right in. Uh, we've got them for the 550, S197, and the SN95. A really, really easy upgrade, and it's really good insurance, especially if your car is running hot. We had uh, uh, one, one of our customers, uh, GT350, up at... Uh, Road America was continually running hot, and we <clears throat> put one of these radiators in, and it dropped some, some water temperature, something like 30 degrees. So, I mean, they really, really work well. If you've got a supercharged car, absolutely, positively, you need a better radio. And that, 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 that's all there is to it, because you're making a lot more heat. 